So while editing this video, uh, I decided I need to preface the whole thing with a little bit of backstory here. Um, not sure where I left off on the videos before the comp uh, on what all I had done to the truck, but uh, I lowered the whole thing. I flipped the, uh, the rear link mount so that it's sitting down lower and that, that that actually lowered the truck a good bit um and i also added uh i should have bit the body off i don't know if you see up in there or not but i added a little uh cut down shock key to uh get my shocks a little bit higher and tilted back a little further but while doing that and getting the truck as low as I possibly could uh, I ran into a little bit of an issue um, my servo arm was actually hitting on the frame rail it's going to be kind of hard to get that on video but anyways, on the bottom of that servo mount and the frame rail, uh, you can see where I ground it down there. Uh, but anyways, so it was hitting real bad. I decided I needed to grind it down. But during that process, I had turned my steering door rate down quite a bit so that I wouldn't stress the servo out and burn it up. And then I got it all ground down, got everything working the way that it needed to. And I forgot all about turning my dual rate back up. And with it being my first comp and everything, and I just forgot, completely forgot. So my steering, like my turning radius was absolute garbage. So there is just an innumerable innumerable amount of like 30 point turns in the video um so that was one thing that was really hurting me the other thing was i tried to hook up my castle link the night before so i could go through make sure everything was set the way it needed to be set because i haven't touched it since i put that uh, castle system in here and for some reason uh it wasn't working for me so i just unhooked it and uh went on about my business well apparently when i hooked up the castle link somehow it took away my throttle curve for reverse so it was set back to the factory uh, linear setting and that really screwed me over in several spots because I'm used to having a nice soft throttle curve and every time I went to just barely touch the throttle in reverse, it was just hammer time. So, but all in all, I'm good with it. It was my first ever comp, first time running gates. Uh, so I've got some things to change and I'll definitely be going back. Uh, sounds like it's a pretty common event and it's pretty close by. So hopefully I can get some things uh, tweaked and go back and hopefully continue to progress and get better. But I just wanted to throw that in there because if I type all that out in subtitles, you'll just be reading the whole time throughout the whole video. So... Anyways, enjoy my epic screw-ups and fails and crazy flips and everything. 
I'll catch you all in the next one. Are you talking about the DSM? Oh man, they're awesome. And they reset themselves after you get so far. It's real nice. Don't get me wrong, it's a little piddly channel, but I've, I've, I've been doing the, making videos for a while, and honestly, I'm, I'm more, more collected just doing it one-handed just because I've done it so much. It don't mean I'm good, but got a lot more control with just the one hand.
like got the turning radius for this one. Dude, it, yeah, it gets dangerous. Especially you walk into some of them that are huge and have all kinds of stuff going on. This throttle curve thing's really starting to get to me. See that shit? I, I'm telling you, it's last night when I tried to hook that V link up, boy. glitch on me now. I don't know what's going on with this thing. Got what? Oh, right on. Gotcha. Did a lot better on time though. 